so we're here at the cabin. We've been doing some filming, been doing some fly tying. Yeah, let's take a look what it's like out there. It's wet. It's very wet. Standing water in the yard. Got one boat tucked away in the corner. A trusty truck. Okay. Back to work. Here we go. Hey there, here we go again. It's raining, the river's high, but I've got all my gear here, so let's try tying a fly. Let's see what happens. And thank you for joining me. Okay, I think I'm ready now. God, I didn't even remember what hand to put my scissors on. Okay, I think we're ready now. I'm gonna tie a blue and black um, <laughs> what am I going to call it? It's a takeoff on my good friend Jeff Hickman's fish taco. Not the same, a little bit different. Um, I'm tying it on a tube. And you see this little thing up here? That is a drop weight. And I'm going to put that I've, I've got it on there so I don't forget it I often don't use any weight on my tubes I'm quite content to let the tip bring my fly to proper depth but every now and then I like to have a little bit of extra weight in situations where I want my fly to be able to drop into the bucket. Of course I didn't have my wire handy. So that long delay was me finding the wire I should have had prepared already. Now when I do this, when I dub my body, I'm gonna dub my body over this drop weight. At least I think I am. Maybe I'm not. Hmm. I'm not. So if you notice a change, I changed out my drop weight for a flexi weight because I really want, I want to dub my body and palmer my, my hackle over the weight. And you really can't do it with a drop weight. You can do it with a flexi weight. That's what I want to do here. So, I've got that on. I'm gonna grab some uh, Senyo's Fusion Dub. And what color is this? Smurf. Hear the rain coming down. It's not looking good for being able to fish tomorrow. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a blue beautiful blue saddle hackle tied in by the butt bring my copper wire up Wind the copper wire forward. Over yeah, two, three times. Trim out the hackle point. Trim the wire. Now, let's give this 
a blue. Oh, let's go with a blue saddle hackle. And I've chosen a saddle hackle that has a lot of nice fluffy material at the back. And this is going to provide loft to the ostrich I'm going to put on. My hackle plier. I'm going to fold my hackle. You don't have to fold your hackles, but my gosh, they wind so much. They behave so much better when you do. They really do. Now I want some ostrich. I'm going to use a black ostrich. And I'm going to make this fairly full. There's always discussion about overdressing flies. I want this fly very full. Those weren't long enough for me. Now they look long enough for me. Would I ever time shorter? Sure. But River's high right now. It's brown right now. It's hopefully going to be turning green here soon. I have no concerns about spooking a fish with this fly or having a fish being reluctant to grab. In fact, I want to make sure fish see this fly. So I'm going very much on the full side and I hope you're counting. You know I guess if you get this just right you put two pinches on the upper side of the fly and two pinches on the lower side of the fly but I don't always pay enough attention to get it right. Okay, let's try a piece of black marabou. I'm gonna finish this fly. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna put on the black marabou. I wouldn't have to, but I, I want the little bit of, little extra bit of motion. And I also want to veil that blue hackle. So here comes my marabou, and I'm not gonna get very many turns. Let's count them. Let's see what I get. There's one. Make sure it's not trapped. Two. Three. Three turns. Make sure everything flows the way it should. It is. Now I have a black schlappen feather that is has some of the web on it also. And I want to finish off my fly with this feather. Though I may, gosh, what about a guinea feather? I don't think I'm gonna use a guinea feather. I almost decided not to fold this, but I thought, no, I'd better.
two turns. Some trapped fibers. Three turns. Done. Okay, I'd go take a break there to find my Lady Amherst. I have part of a tail feather here. And I could I could finish this fly off with a guinea feather, but I'm gonna go the extra step of using Lady Amherst, and I'm gonna tie this in fiber by fiber. Now the risk is that you build up too much bulk here and then your cone won't want to go on. But if you get it right, this looks, it's very time consuming. But it looks really cool. So I'm going to be quiet in here while I do this. I'll probably fast forward. Okay, I've got enough on there. Now it's really important at this point to tighten down. I don't want a little bit of cement here. I don't want a lot of bulk. Here's one of those fibers that came loose. I'm gonna try to barely trap it. I think I got it. The point here, uh, these things look so nice. But if you have too much thread bulk, it interferes with sliding your cone on. There we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna cut this off. Um, where's my lighter? Now, I actually cut that plastic a little bit too long. So here's my finished fly. Here's a rear view for you. God, I can hear the rain coming down. Thank you very much for joining me.